Hey guys, Genji the Boss YT here, and this is part two of me trying to complete both the practice and challenge from the Reddit Dex challenge. Okay, so we did complete practice in the previous video, so we're gonna do the challenge right now, and let's see if we can get that nice magical chest. Now there may have to be part three if all doesn't go well. Um, and if we lose, but we have got magical minor poison, so let's see what we do. I'm not sure what the play is to be honest, but we're gonna go with the minor and let's see what we can do and start chipping. Okay, um, he has got a magic archer, that is perfectly fine because we're gonna go with one of our own ice golems and let's see what we can do. All right, so well, this, this is just some log value, uh, which is excellent, and then we're gonna go with a bandit. Are we playing the same deck, guys? Um, could, we could, we could, uh, thanks bandit, please target, oh, that magic archer aiming for that tower, mm, that's difficult to look at, alright, we're gonna go with the miner, and we need to start chipping really, really harshly, I thought he wasn't playing very well, it turns out he is, as you can tell, um, not very great, which is fine, um, he has got that miner to chip after all, but we're gonna get our own, um, magic archer down, and let's see what our miner can do, alright, this is uh, really, really good. And then we're just going to get an Ice Golem here just to distract that Miner. Oh, yeah. And I think we are catching up to the damage that he's doing. He did uh, put a Poison down, which is unfortunate. This Inferno Tower, it is decent for all those tanks. So, all is good. Uh, we're going to go with another Miner. We need to start chipping, and we need to start chipping hard. All right. If he plays Magic Archer, we can have Poison value again. Um, we're, we're doing more than him now. We, we are doing more than him, which is excellent um, Because we were out of elixir um, Before so now we are pressurizing really really nicely We're gonna go with our own bandits and let's see what we can do. All right bandit for bandit Oh our bandit just survived and not anymore, but he's now leaning on damage again But we still need to up our game now. We're gonna go with the minor of our own and let's see what we can do. All right, that mag his magic archer is distracted, so there is some positive news. And he is actually copying me with these ice spirit placements, which is, yes, yeah, annoying, but it's fine. And then we're gonna go with one of our own, um, well, uh, magic archer. And then I think he carries on playing the miner there, so we need to be aware of that. But I think we can chip him out if he carries on uh, doing the same placements. What was that inferno tower for? <laughs> Alright, we're going to put our own Inferno Tower though, because, I mean, he might play something. Miner, please carry on chipping, uh, that'll be all appreciated. We're going to go with an Ice Golem here, and if he wants to play something... Oh, he's actually going to Poison Win. How much does a log do? 84, alright. Alright, we're just going to do this. Oh, alright, we're going to get our own log down, because he's finished us off. And we're going to go with an Ice Spirit Miner combination, which should hopefully be deadly and stop anything he's got and this is just a minor chip game okay it is tough i can tell you that for sure all right we're gonna go with our magic archer please don't go all right uh he carries on placing play uh, playing the minor there which is good for us obviously we need to get this chip going uh and the chip is just so so good and we're gonna go with our uh, minor ice spirit combination all right now we're switching up his placements uh, which is good on him, but we're going to go with a bandit, and then we're going to go with another ice golem, we need to start taking a tower, we're going to chip so hard, um, we're going to get this here, oh, all is just so, so good, um, oh, and that tower is focused on the miner, oh, this is looking so, so good on our part, oh, that bandit doing so much, if only we can try and take him out, ice spirit, would you please go to, oh, no, it wouldn't obviously go to the tower, all right, he's actually going to try and defend that, magic archer, please hit the tower as well, uh, oh yeah, I, I just love that card. And we're gonna go with Minor Poison, the classic. That is what this deck is all about. Um, can we take him out is my question with with one, guys. Um, yeah, mine, my, I mean, the Poison just finished that off. So Minor for the win, good game. And remember, this is actually a challenge. So we're doing really, really good. And we got our first victory. Okay, that was crucial. And we only need eight more wins to try and complete it. So that would be good. Okay. We are playing once now, and we have got Ghostly Bridge Spam. Uh, I think I've played this in the previous video. Uh, go check it out if you haven't. But let's see what we can do against him. Okay, we have got this. All right, he's gonna go with regular archers, so we're gonna go with our very own Magic Archer, uh, which should be good. All right, 
all right he's actually got giant which is trouble i suppose um but it's not that uh it, it's not that um worrying it's not that worrying so all is good all is very very good uh, in fact uh, so let's just carry on doing what we're doing that um battle ram hopefully finishing off that prince make it the end for that day especially his oh and we can just get some really really good fireball damage uh, and the magic archer and we are already doing 1661 damage okay we're countering really really well and we're gonna go with a magic art no I I i'm gonna save my elixir in fact because what it's only one archer that's only gonna do um 2400 it's only gonna get rid of what 100 damage look um only, not that much only 2448 health left on my tower and let's see what we can do with our ice golem coming up there all right he's actually gonna go there so we're gonna put our dark prince there as well and we're not afraid because we've got the lead and we have got our very own inferno dragon so all should be good and we can after all put our battle ram down if he decides to uh, be a bit uh, difficult to be all right this is already looking really really good i can assure you all right and now we're actually gonna zap this uh brilliant and uh, hopefully that uh inferno dragon can take out that prince and look at that inferno dragon getting value <laughs> that is what i call value and we are already beating um once um we are already doing exceptional damage and we are already doing um as much damage as we can and I think we've got the elixir lead because we carry on fireballing his magic archer. And I don't know why he carries on playing his magic archer in that specific spot. Because if he knows that it's not going to be a great play, I would stop. Um, and I actually learned that when I was uh, playing ladder. Always put your inferno uh, magic archer somewhere here. Oh, he's actually going here all in. Which is fine because this will do something. Oh, and look at this value our opponent wants to give us. Um, archers and the magic archer just going oh and, and we always miss one which is fine because we're still in the lead tower still on 2448 only the archers have got on our tower and i'm not sure what to do we're probably gonna go with an ice golem here and let's see what we can do and then we're just gonna go with the ordinary royal ghost because he has to counter the royal ghost um otherwise he'll be in a lot of trouble all right we're just gonna go here and this is just looking excellent i mean he's going with a um um giant there which is fine but i wouldn't do that i think we've got the victory here we're gonna put our, our ice golem down signaling victory uh, but we obviously do have to be aware of the right hand side lane But all is still good as you can tell. I mean, why would you fireball that my dude? All right, and we're just gonna go all in with this maniac push. Oh, and of course two of them survive We're just gonna zap. All right. This is good Really really good and if we can just counter uh, that would be excellent We're gonna get a magic archer down uh, if it can hit the tower as well. That'll be no that no. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine We have still got the lead uh, how much does a fireball do? 201. Alright, so 50 HP still left on that tower. So all is looking really, really good. And then probably zap. Uh, yeah, we've got this. Alright, so there is a second victory. So these Reddit decks, I'm getting used to it now. Uh, I wasn't aware of them previously, especially in the previous video. That's why they've probably got practice. But we're looking good. And are there any donations? No. Okay, just Fortnite. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go on to our second game, Sparta 2. And we are ha actually having the Woodland Warriors deck, so let's see how good this one is. We have got the Tornado here. And I was reading about this, it said, don't be scared to spam. So, I won't be scared, I won't be scared, um, I got you. Um, we're gonna get our very own Magic Archer here, and let's see what we can do. Alright, our Magic Archer is still alive, so we're gonna go here. I don't want to zap just in case my opponent has zap. Um, but this 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 is looking good. All right, we need to counter fiercely. Is that the right word? Oh, magic archer hit that tower. Yes, boys. Okay. Oh, he's actually got this combination, which is not ideal, especially right now. All right, we can well we we can lock this. Uh, we're not afraid to spam apparently, um, and we're gonna get this down, and then we're just gonna go with bats, just so that the barbarians can't get any damage apart from one, which is fine. And those bats still live on, but then they will die to the arch tower, which is fine. We are still doing so much damage. Okay, he's actually got a hunter of his own coming down this lane, so we're gonna put our own hunter down, and let's see what we can do. Okay, our hunter goes down right now, 
And let's see, what will he play? Okay, he's actually playing that, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Um, that's not ideal. It's fine, though. Um, we just need to be aware of that magic archer just doing so much on the tower. Bandit, if that can go on the tower, that would be really appreciated. But I don't think it will. Zappies are really, really good. And we're going to get our own magic archer down again. Okay, this one's looking good. This one's looking so, so good. And, well, we've, we've just frozen that, so, uh, oh yeah, okay, this isn't the ideal play, Barbarian's, okay, Barbarian didn't actually get hit, so this is actually really, really good, and we're just gonna go with our very own Battle Ram, he is winning on damage, so we have to be very, very careful, but this should all go well, oh yeah, and that Battle Ram actually connects, if it can forget about the Ice Golem, that would be perfect, and it actually listened to me for the first time on Clash Royale, this is looking so, so good, I was gonna say, um, what shall what shall we do? Um, I now know. Um, but we're gonna place our bats here, and we're gonna go with our very own battle ramp again. We aren't afraid to spam, as you can tell. Um, there 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 is just really really good proof there. Uh, Magic archer, please get yeah. It just got taken out. Okay, this one's looking good. We are leading damage quite a lot. See, if you play your magic archer in front of your towers, your magic archer will survive. Uh, which is what mine is doing right now. And we're gonna put our bandit down. Oh, this is just this battle is just over. This is over, boys. Um, he's struggling. I can tell you that, and I can assure you that. He's struggling. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. Um, but he has got that coming down, which isn't ideal, obviously. Um, but it's fine. And we just need to tornado this, and then we can just log again. And we're just gonna do as much as we can to try and counter him. And we're going to go with another... Oh, yeah. It didn't distract, but that's fine. We're going to go with Battle Ram and Deny Spirit. Can we cycle to another log? Of course we can. The answer is a big fat yes. Oh, yeah. And the log. Taking it out. And we have got three firm victories. Okay. That's really, really good. And let's just collect our reward. We played really well, especially with that Hunter. And let's see if I can collect our crown chest. But we will firstly collect a thousand gold, no donations. Oh, there is a donation. There we go. And let's see if we can get six more wins. Um, only 12 minutes into the video, so that's good. Minor magic. I love this deck because it has it features the Tesla and it is a minor poison deck, and Tesla is so so strong. Okay, we're just gonna go with the single miner and let's just see what that can do. Alright, I was gonna put our Valkyrie on time, but obviously it didn't. So let's see whose miner will do more. Does which one's the best counter? Valkyrie or Ice Spirit? It turns out it's the Valkyrie. Okay, I'm not sure what to actually play here. Um, we're gonna go with our very own Magic Archer. Uh, but oh, he has that. Okay, I wasn't expecting a Pekka. He, he missed the tower. Oh, that is perfect. That is just perfect. Uh, we're actually gonna go with the Tesla. Try and counter him. Uh, and our test replacement, uh, not great, but but the poison was there, and we wanted to limit the damage, and it will probably get the miner as well. But we're gonna go with our very own miner, and let's see what we can do. If he plays this miner, our Tesla will be in range, hopefully. So there we go. All right, um, I don't want to poison yet. It, I think it's a bit too risky. We're gonna go with our Valkyrie. Uh, oh yeah, and that was just perfect placement. And we're gonna counter this Electro Wizard with Electro Wizard. And this is looking good. He, after all, does have the P.E.K.K.A. Which is a hard counter to Minor Poison. It is going to be quite difficult. But we can deal with it. Let's learn how to deal with it. We have got the Tesla, after all. Which is very, very strong. Let's see what we can do. Alright, he's, oh, he's actually going to go. I thought he wasn't going to go with the P.E.K.K.A. Turns out he is. We're going to go with our Miner here. And let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That, that, that's what you call value with the Tesla taking out that um, Pekka and that Ice Spirit just gone to waste. This is good. And well, we've taken off uh, 700 damage ish damage off him. So there's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. And it's just focused on the Valkyrie again. Uh, you need to switch up your minor placements. That's a top tip. Just so that your opponent can't always predict it. Otherwise, that will be quite difficult. But I think the game here is just minor chip. It's just minor chip, minor chip, minor chip. Because he has got the P.E.K.K.A. And it's going to be a very, very hard game. We're going to go with our log. And then we're going to poison it. Uh, just, just, um, so that, um, Electro Wizard dies, and just so he can't support that P.E.K.K.A., he actually has 
a balloon. Uh, oh, yeah, that was useless. We should have played that better, but it's fine. Um, we just need to be more aware. Oh, and we've just beaten this bush really, really nicely. I just don't know how we're countering him this nicely. Um, his tower's already on 1,300. I, I can't believe we're countering, and uh, he just poisoned his own. Well, we're just going to poison just for victory, and we're going to get our Tesla down just for victory. Um, and we be Pekka Balloon, guys. So that's pretty much beating my own deck with minor poison, but obviously he wasn't as skilled as me, I don't think, with the deck. Um, so we can't really compare. Let's head into our last battle, and then part three will be in the next video. Alright, so Lord Creed playing Dank Magical Ram. No, we're playing Dank Magical Ram. We're playing Lord Reed. Alright, so for our last battle, let's see if we can creep in a victory here. And hopefully get to 5 wins with 0 losses. And the next video we'll hopefully get to 9. Alright, I'm bored of waiting. We're going to play our Ice Golem. And let's see what we can do. Alright, he's actually going there. Uh, really harsh play. I, uh, he's either got Balloon Parade. Or, um... What's it? Alright. Um, uh, Pekka Balloon. The card, or the deck we faced last game. Alright, we're going to go so harsh. And that Dark Prince just finishing off really, really nicely. I mean, how can you thank um, the Clash Royale gods for giving us a very, very easy game? And he has got Balloon Parade, which in my opinion is very, very bad. It hasn't got any air counters, it hasn't got any ground counters. It is just simply a very, very bad deck. Okay, this will hopefully be a victory. Let's see what we can do. He has got Inferno Dragon though, which is a problem. Um, but not a big deal, because we have got um, this. Uh, we're going to counter that Ice Golem harshly with this. Oh, and Zappies, please counter that. Oh, brilliant. It does take a long time to try and kill, though. Uh, I can't. Okay, I can't do anything about that. But now that Ice Golem is in front, we're going to go with the Battle Ram. And our push is already insane. And we're going to get this um, Princess here. Oh, yeah. And will this be a three crown just to end the video? This will be really, really good. I think in the previous video, we also ended it with a three crown. So this is looking really, really good. I've still got a minute and 15 seconds on the clock. So we're, we're still doing decent damage. So there, there's an advantage there. All right. Our thousand, 1,680. Not a big fuss. We're just going to go with the uh, massive push. And let's see what we can do. All right. So that, that's a problem. That's a really, really big problem. Because I don't want to play that, to be honest. Um, but it's fine. We can zap the Inferno Dragon. Uh, zap. Alright, that's really, really good. Please don't carry on countering. Alright, we actually took that out, which is fine. And we're going to get our Hunter here, you know. And we're going to counter him really, really nicely. We're going to put our very own Ice Golem. And I'm not even going to let him take a tower, to be honest. Because, I mean, we need all these towers. Oh, I don't know why I made it just closer. Alright, we need to be aware of this um, balloon counter. Oh, Zappies are just perfect. Alright, we need, we're we going to try and counter him with the battle ram, and uh, let's see what we can do. I really want the three crown, if he stops me, that would be just so annoying. Alright, this is tough, okay, as you can tell, it's a really, really toughy, it's a toughy actually. Um, we're just going to zap, okay, I done that, that zap was useless to be honest, and um, we're not going to let him take a tower, you know what? We're going to get that uh, miner in the middle, and we survived with 704 health on our tower. Um, wow. So we are actually five wins, only four more wins to complete it, so that'll be in the next video. Uh, let's just collect our crown chest, if you get a legendary that'll be brilliant. Oh, we're not going to get a legendary. Anyway, uh, what quest have we completed? Okay, we completed card collector, that's brilliant. But I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in part three, and as well, I'll see you in the next one.